Okay, no kids. Kids, go away. Or your head will fall off. I will personally hunt you down and chop your head off if you continue watching. I'm not kidding, I'll do it. Go the frick away, kids. Your eyes will burn. Go away. Just go away. I'm... I'm not kidding, kids. What do I do to, like... We can age-restrict the video. That would work. I don't know. Okay, so I'm going to theorize what a third gender would look like. Not the gender that there are infinity of, but the type of gender that is on the physical body. What would a third gender be like? determines a child's gender or just a person's gender is the last two chromosomes at the end of their genetic makeup um there's x and y now they're not just x is female and y is male and then I'm not talking about a Z chromosome, because that doesn't exist. What I'm talking about is... Um... When... Okay, so an ova cell, or an egg cell... The genes in it, it has half the amount of DNA. It is the baby. It It is... You, you are this ova cell, and it has half the DNA needed for it to start re start multiplying and turning into a human. It, since it has half, it has X. All ova cells will have X. There's no ova cell that has a Y. It will always have X. Now, a sperm cell that's delivering the other half of the DNA will have either X or Y, and when it's XX, nothing happens to the baby, N absolutely nothing happens when the child is developing, absolutely nothing, because the humans start, pr when, a, when a child starts producing, it makes the, the breasts, fully functioning breasts, and a baby hole, so no wiener, but when, once that Y, when it's X and Y, once the sperm delivers the Y chromosome that matches with the X chromosome, then the Y chromosome, then that mixture, or the Y chromosome, starts to tell the genetic code to make the breasts inoperable, um, to make them never... And then the, and then the, um, begin to make the baby hole kind of turn inside out. Um, and makes a wiener. So, <clears throat> then now that that's out of the way, that background knowledge is out of the way, we can start talking about how the frick a Y and Y could get together and form some kind of third gender. Well, there's this, like, when two homosexual people want to have a child, they would obviously just go and adopt one because they can't make one themselves, or can they? There's actually a thing, I thought about it, 
believe it or not, in sixth grade, or sixth or seventh grade, before I even heard that it was a real thing, and went home and looked it up, and it is a real thing, you can get, like, in labs, you can get half the, I'm going to choose men as an example, because they, they have the Y chromosome, so that would make the third gender, you can get the DNA of one sperm or ovus, if they're woman, but I'm going to use sperm as an example. You can get the half, the whole amount of DNA, which is a half, and then the DNA from the other, and merge the two, and make, and start developing a baby with those two DNA. Now you probably what those two DNA have. Now you probably will need an ova cell makeup or some crap, but to start developing into a child, but if you, if they succeed at it, you can have a child that was born from two people of the same gender. That's really freaking cool, because it's like, how the frick did that happen? They can't, it can't work unless you mingle around with the genetics and it will work now. It will end up being homosexual because, I mean, d d d homosexuality is genetic. It's a fact. You can look it up if you don't believe me. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what what really the thing. I don't want to get into that. But it will be homosexual. But I mean, you ma you made a child with DNA from both of the same gender. It's that's weird. So my question is. What the frick happens when they accidentally get a Y sperm and a, another Y sperm and put it together? What will happen then? I mean, there's no X to, to let it know that they need to make that and the other thing. And, there's, and the Y would just tell it to change it into a guy. So what the frick would Y, Y be? Would it, would it be like... No nipples, because it changes, it makes it so it's not, so it would just be no nipples. First of all, they wouldn't have any nipples, because there would be no X thing to tell it to have nipples. And second of all, the junk would look, I don't even think they would have junk. I don't know. And then, I don't think they could have kids themselves because you have to do that genetic thing because there'd be no X to make it have junk and there'd be no Y to make the junk chains so the, it is just two Y's so the Y's are both telling it to make the junk change or is the X telling it to make a human so with the two Y's like make an alien, I don't, w would it make, like, one of those alien things that, like, don't have any junk at all, they're, it's just, I don't know, but, um, think about that, post your, um, theories in the comments, um, <coughs> um, I think that if it would create a human, at the miracle that it would create a human, I think that it, w it wouldn't, it would not have nipples, first of all, and that the junk would either just not, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be there, junk wouldn't be there. The junk wouldn't be there because the ova, the ovularies, or whatever, when the girl is changing from a guy because of the Y chromosome, the the thing it all turns inside out, and the ovas kind of turn into balls, testicles, um, and then the whole whole of it turns into the we we, um, then that's what the Y chromosome tells it to do, but 
there's two Y chromosomes telling it to do the same thing, and there's no X to make it have genitals in the first place, so it just it all kind of, like, bulges out. I have freaking no clue. This is a weird topic. <coughs>